All right, guys. Um, try to go over a lesson today about intervals, and uh, been trying to work out a lesson. So hopefully, this will take no more than about three videos, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. As usual, I'm using my uh, my new Tortex um, pitch black 1.4 millimeter picks. I just bought. I'm also still, I've got the Elixir Nano Webs on here still. The Phosphor Bronze 12 to 53 light gauges. See that right there. Um, these strings are about ready to be changed. I've had these on since the first part of January. And they're about ready to be changed. The good thing about that is, is even though I'm using a thick pick, they sound, you know, still sound pretty good. But if they start to dull, you could always use your Dunlop Altex picks. This is one millimeter. You can always use your Dunlop Altex picks and make it sound brighter. So, but I'm, I'm using my, my other ones right now. But anyway, let's get on into this. If we can do this in three videos. Okay, intervals. An interval is the distance between one note to another note. Simple as that. How are intervals used? Okay. What I want to get across to you is there was a guy by the name of Don Latarski. And if you look up his video called Music Theory Made Easy, um, I got a lot of interesting facts from him on that video I recommend it it's kind of cheesy the production's kind of cheesy but he gives real good information and one of the things that stuck with me uh, is his uh, method of interval uh, recognizing intervals and using them and I'm going to use some more he taught that day um, and on that video if you see it you've probably seen it a dozen times before it looks like uh, like a, a bright orange or red case and it's got like little bubbles floating around that are different colors like orange and blue and yellow and green and they've got like um, I think they've got musical notes in them or something but that's what it looks like it's by Don Tarski and it's got a picture of a white electric guitar on top of it in the front so check that out but let me show you what intervals is intervals the first thing you gotta know is, is uh, a, a basic form of a major scale. For these examples, I'm using G right now. So the G major scale, the first position, actually the, I guess it's the uh, second or third position, open position. We're at the nut up here. It's this. That's the bass note. Most of you probably know this, so I don't have time to go over it exactly, so we'll start out from here. And we start out there as the G major scale in one octave. And this lesson, this video is going to be on simple intervals. This one right here is. So to find an interval, you just count in your major scale the distance from your root note to the uh, note in the scale where the interval comes from. And uh, this is going to be very quick and very simple. So I recommend getting you a music theory book like uh, Hal Leonard's Pocket Music Theory. I've got it, it's really good. Or the Everything Guide to Music Theory, the everything, you know, the everything, everything Book Series. I recommend getting it too, it's really good. But anyway, here's that scale again. It's, it's uh, the E string would be um, uh, third and fifth fret, would be in G scale. Back up here to the A string would be two, three, and five. And then in the uh, D string, it's going to be two, four, five. And that's the octave. That is an interval of an eighth. Because it's eight steps away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's see. You wanted to. Uh, here's the shape of a an interval of a third if you're playing a G chord. This right here, these two strings in the 
this shape, this like little diagonal slant. That's the shape of a third. And I'm using that in G. And if you was to go on to C, here's the same shape. That's a third. It's because it's one, two, three notes away. So it's a third. It's the same on all the strings. This is a third. This is a third. This is a third. And the only string that's not the same on is the B string and the G string. Because the B string is tuned, I mean the G, the, that B string is tuned. Like if you was tuned the relative method, you would go. And here's where it would be different. Instead of staying right here, you have to go down one step. But it's the same on all the other strings, right? Same thing with this. It's the same on all the strings. Even these down here. It's the shape of a third. But when we get to here, these two strings, we have to move that B up half a step because it's tuned down half a step in standard tuning. Standard tuning. See, we have to go down half a step. So instead of being here, it's actually tuned down half a step when it's out of tune. But, um, well, so it's, to compensate, we have to move the B string up half a step. So whereas these were down here, it's a third shape, third shape, third shape. Now we have to move that B string up half a step. That's a third shape right there. But when we get back to the other strings, it goes back to normal. So the same across all strings. And that's with all these intervals. Now the next interval um, is a fourth. So one, two, three, four. And that's a suspended note. Same thing with this. If you're in C, you, you use that a lot, probably. That's a C suspended note. Suspended fourth. Because it's a fourth note. Same across all strings. Except when you get down here, you got to move from that third up half a step. If you're playing an A chord, you use that a lot because it's a suspended note. Same thing down here. If you notice D, if your root note is D, then suspended would be the G here. So it's the same across all strings, except for down here, where you have to move it up half a step. I hope you can see this. But so the next one is a fifth, and you know this because of the power chords. One, two, three, four, five. played long A, that's the, the E, the uh, fifth note right there, so it's, let me just do it down here since the A's down here, probably see it easier if I did that, so that's the fifth uh, interval, root of a, a note of a fifth, is the next one. Now these are a little different because these are all adjacent strings. But it's going to be the same concept. And that's where I get lost. I've never had to use intervals like that. I guess it'll be there because it's instead of still go back to the old principle. mistaken those are all th uh, sixes like you're playing a G6 chord so there's that one and then you have your your major seven that's the interval of a major seventh a seventh four five six seven in the scale Back to the octave. And if you, and uh, here's something we might talk about in one of the
each other next lessons mm -hmm. is if you flatten that seventh you'll have the seventh the G7 note mm -hmm. so instead of here it's down here so instead of a major seventh you have a, a minor seventh and since my time's out we'll talk about adjusting these intervals you know uh, probably the next video so stay tuned for it thanks for watching subscribe please